Hello and thank you for joining us today. My name is Craig O'Neill and I'm the Director of Business Development for Teledyne FLIR's Optical Gas Imaging Solutions. FLIR, Teledyne FLIR has been involved in the optical gas imaging industry since the inception of a commercial optical gas imaging camera called the Gas Find IR in 2005. Over the last 15 plus years, we've made foundational uh, advancements in the technology. Everything from our trademarked high sensitivity mode in 2008 to the foundation of our uh, portfolio for optical gas imaging cameras in our GF series. That includes an ATEX version in 2017, high resolution version in 2019. Some other unique places that were where we've addressed the market is in 2015, we made the first fixed mount system for continuous and autonomous operation. And then we moved into 2019, where we launched the first FLIR branded quantification solution, as well as a new technology for uncooled optical gas imaging cameras, something that is much lower in price than the existing cooled technology that's out in the market today, but not quite as sensitive. The operating principles of optical gas imaging are very basic. An object in the background will emit energy and it will actually hit the infrared camera and create an image. At times, there may be gas between that object and the camera itself. When there's gas present, that gas blocks the energy from reaching the detector. Therefore, the image that would be in the background would actually look as though there's smoke in between that image and the background. The way this works is simple. We put a filter into the camera and we take that filter and we match the spectral response and to, uh, of the camera to the peak spectral absorption of the gas, focusing on hydrocarbon gases, including methane. Some advantages for optical gas imaging compared to other technologies are efficiency, the ability to inspect more components in the same amount of time. Effectiveness, the ability to, to inspect items that cannot be inspected with other technologies, like difficult to measure component, components, and situational awareness. We know where the leak is and how to fix it and how to appropriately mitigate that emission. In many cases, we also know if it is a leak or vent. With the quantification of optical gas imaging, we're able to use this technology that we launched FLIR brand in 2019 to quantify emissions as they come out. This technology started in 2016 with our partner Providence Photonics that made the very first quantification solution for optical gas imaging. This will allow for emissions and uh, quantification in mass or volume rates as well as concentration. And with the FLIR technology and the FLIR solutions, you can either use this tethered and directly for in-field immediate analysis or just store the file on your camera to analyze it and post-process it with FLIR's Q mode. We also have an uncooled solution for OGI. We have both a handheld, but we also have a fixed mount. This allows those operators that may want to uh, look at the larger leaks that may not meet Quad OA or may not meet environmental regulatory constraint, but may have a, a huge impact on their ROI or on their environmental stewardship. And if you look at the sensitivity of our cooled versus our uncooled, we can still detect the same amount of gases, but the uncooled technology is going to be about five to 10 times less sensitive. That is why it does not meet the Quad OA uh, regulation, uh, regulation sensitivity standards. And some of the factors affecting optical gas imaging, a huge factor is delta T. You must have a minimal delta T for the, uh, for the gas to be present and viewable. Wind would have an effect on the size, the amount of wind or the direction in which it's going as you wouldn't want wind blowing directly into the operator and distance would have uh, an issue with optical gas imaging. And if we look at the future, what might this look at? I like to look at an S curve of innovation. Over the past 15 plus years, we've really focused on a handheld solution. Leak detection and repair, more in a handheld app application. But the future of S curve innovation may at some point in time flatten out. And I believe maybe the, the implication in the addition of new technologies like uncooled optical gas imaging may help in which uh, in, in, in advancing that curve of innovation for methane mitigation over the years. Thank you very much, and please let me know if there are any questions tied to our technologies.